Hello! Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson we're going to do some what-if analysis. We'll learn to create scenarios. In Excel a scenario shows us the result that will occur when we change one or more variables. So for our target cell, in other words, our operating profit, what would happen if our supplier comes to us and says, oh, by the way, prices are going up by 3% next month. And oh, by the way, we discover that we have increased competition and we're going to have to lower our sales prices. What if? Perfect condition for a scenario. Some other possible scenarios might include putting together a sales package. What would be a good buy? What would be the better buy? Or what would be the best buy? Or predicting outcomes. If the worst happened, what would be the result? Or if everything went right, what's the best case outcome? Or the outcome that is most likely? Another area for a scenario would be when we're thinking about relocating our office or our home to the north side of the city or the central area of the city or moving out to the suburbs. For today's lesson, we're going to examine the effect of our target cell. What we want to create a scenario for is the result of total operating costs plus total personnel expenses. We're going to create two scenarios. In the first, we move to a smaller location. In other words, we want to reduce our rent. And we also are being forced to reduce our staffing level. In our second scenario, we're forced to remain in place. We cannot get out of our lease, but we have to see the effect of reducing our staffing level. These are perfect for a scenario. Once again, we want to make sure that we understand what the resulting cell will be. In this case, it's going to be cell C23. And let's go up to the Tools menu and choose Scenarios. In this case, I already have three scenarios. As a best practice, I recommend creating a scenario to document your current status. So let's choose the current show, so, show and this is our current outlay each month, 21485 In our first scenario, what I did was say I want to reduce the cost of our rent, and I'm also forced to reduce our staffing level. Show me the result. Highlight that scenario, click Show, and now we can see our monthly expenses go down to $16,515. How about the second scenario, reducing the staff but remaining in place? Highlight the scenario, click Show, and it will be a result of 12945 Before we create an additional scenario, let's go through and take a look at some things that are important or will help you to create a scenario. I put four steps in there. Show the formulas. As you can see here, I'm using the control tilde shortcut, I'm showing all of the formulas in my worksheet. Next, I want to analyze the precedence and dependence. So down here, what I want to do is look at the cells that will feed into my target cell directly or indirectly. Once I understand that, then I know how to write out my scenario. I like to write out the scenario, and I also like to highlight the cells that I will be changing. And then finally, I do like and recommend using name cell references for your scenarios. All right, now let's go back and create an additional scenario. We'll go back up to Tools scenarios and in this case let's start from our current situation and based off of that we want to add an additional scenario let's call it negotiate lower rent okay and now click OK what are we going to change we want to change our office location we'd like to have it at least temporarily reduced in half to five thousand dollars we're going to leave everything else in place, click OK, highlight this scenario, click Show, and there's our result, 15385 Once we've created these multiple scenarios, what we want to do next is create a summary report. So let's choose Summary. And our summary will be based on the resulting sale, which is down here. Notice the marching ants around it, cell C23. Click OK, and now, quick as that, we have a great summary report to present. So here we can see the effect in our current values, our 
reducing the staff and moving to a smaller location, reducing the staff but remaining in place, negotiating a lower rent. You see the advantage of naming the cells. It's easy to present and explain this to the other stakeholders in our company. So it's really easy to create scenarios. You're only limited by your imagination. Use the tools, scenarios, and create as many as you want. I'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.